think is the I'm talking about every environmental problem that you have in your head exists. What do you think is the root cause of all environmental problems? Notice how I made this big, big word. Oh. Humans. Humans, maybe. You gotta be more specific. Um, maybe like us not knowing like uh, what that, like if we did that. That's a really good point. Industrialization. It it comes from it stems from that. Consumption, I'm going to give you. I actually added that. It's not the root cause, okay? Overconsumption is in addition to the root cause. So please put that in your notes. It's in addition to the root cause. Since nobody's giving me the answer, I'm going to show you a picture, okay? So it stays impacted in your brain forever. <laughs> That's a pool in China. Overpopulation. Yep, I wouldn't want to go swimming in that. Overpopulation is the root cause to all environmental problems. I should probably cancel my YouTube video that's playing around here. Where is it? I have no idea. I could hear it. There. All right, leads to, what was your answer? You said greenhouse gases? What do you think greenhouse gases leads to? Global warming, climate change. And I can tell you right now, the term climate change didn't replace global warming because global warming does not exist. The term climate change replaced global warming because there's more to the warming of Earth and this more leads to all these climate issues. Climate, what is climate? Who knows? Weather, okay, temperature, and when you think of weather, when you go to the Weather Channel, what are you checking for? So temperature and precipitation, so do we go, I want to check the climate for today. No, over a long period of time. So when you're calculating climate change, you're calculating changes within our Earth over 10 years, 20 years, that's how they calculate climate change. Um, what else? Major environmental problems as a result of overpopulation. Pollution. Good. What kind? Air. Water. Land. Good. We're going to cover all of those. What is in our air and then the problems in our air? What is, what's our land made up of and then the problems in the land? Now, overconsumption of what? Resource. Resource. Resource depletion, big problem. And this is the picture I wanted to show you, which is a little scary. So look at this picture and tell me what you see. No, but that's a big one. A lake drying. This is an article that's linked to Denver. Denver predicts within the next 10 years, they're going to be without water. Have you ever thought of that? Have you ever thought of being without, have you ever been without water? Do you remember the hurricane that happened like five or six years ago and we were without water? Or maybe seven? Yeah, that was a long time ago. It was probably my second year at McCarthy. I, ha I was without water for 10 days. And you went to the faucet every, every, morning, every moment and you tried to turn it on and it didn't turn on. You went to flush the toilet and you couldn't flush the toilet. There's people that are buying water from other states. There's states fighting with other states for water rights. Does that sound crazy? When water is a cycle that's supposed to regenerate naturally, and it's not. So that's a whole topic we gotta cover. And it's pretty extensive. Yes? On the last The ecological footprint? Yeah. Okay, I'll go back. So the other two topics that we're going to cover is waste and loss of biodiversity. Anybody know what that means? Species. When you lose a species, you lost diversity of a species. What else can you lose that's living diversity? That's a big topic in environmental science. 
Besides the organism. Ecosystems. Ecosystems. Good. Genetic. Genetic diversity. Big topic. And that's it for today. I'm going to stop recording. There. I did uncover. It's if, oh, by the way, if on the AP exam an option is overpopulation, the answer is no matter how much you want to think differently, it is. And I want to say one thing before you leave. Environmental science and theology, they, believe it or not, the Pope two years ago made the Ten Commandments of Earth or something or saving Earth, so they're getting on board. But think of this topic, overpopulation and, and, and Catholic religion. They don't go together very well, right? So don't argue with your theology teachers how overpopulation exists and you shouldn't have babies because it works.